Hello. Uh, today's date, it is uh, the 1st of November, 2017. And I know you have heard this from me dozens, maybe hundreds of times. I am giving up on Windows. I just had a, yesterday, some type of virus or something go in, you know, get into my computer. Maybe in the day before that it started. I'm not going to go into all the details. You've probably been through something like this before. You know, my uh, the browser didn't want to do what it wouldn't. You know, different things didn't work. Uh, just I tried a few things and I just decided to give up. And well, I. No, I went ahead and I installed a fresh version of Windows. And then I just decided a short time ago to put Ubuntu, put Linux back on the computer. And uh, that's what I'm doing now, getting, starting to install it. Uh, Ubuntu Studio on there. I ran it a little bit in the past. I ran, I ran just about every version of uh, a lot of times, well most of the time I had dual booting systems. I don't think I'm planning on dual booting. I just swear, I know you've heard this, I'm tired of Windows. Now I have, luckily when uh, I have everything on my computer and I've paid for Windows, I have paid for so many programs, three video editing programs, a uh, couple screen capturing programs, and I liked them, you know, I liked them. Uh, I had my computer before the virus hit the other day, really, I had everything I needed to do what I wanted to do, but Windows does not want that to happen. Uh, I had virus protection running. I'm very careful. I just let's not go into that. So this is uh, see, erase the disk and install Ubuntu Studio. Uh, I looked at all the different versions. I looked at a couple just recently, but uh, okay, I know it's going to destroy everything here. Yes, continue. Um, so I um, okay, this is the time zone that I'm in. Yes, I speak English. Okay. I'm going to stop this while I enter my name, although the password will be, you know. I'm going to stop this and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm back. Uh, oops, sorry, I bumped the... So, of course, what I did is uh, downloaded the Ubuntu Studio from their site. And uh, then the file I took and burned onto a DVD as an image file. Then I put it in the computer, uh, running Windows at that time, and I uh, booted into it. And one of the options is that uh, you can, what they call live, you can run live and you're not changing anything on your hard drive. You are just using the DVD. Those so things are slower, but um, see if I can zoom in here a little bit. A little bit more. So I um, So you can just use that you're not changing any of your files and you can actually see 
how the program, you know, works. And that way you could have several burn different, you know, and try different ones. But you're not changing anything. And then if you decide, okay, this is something I can, you know, work with, you can uh, tell it on the screen like here. It says install Ubuntu Studio 16.04. I click on that and then it's, you know, rebooted and came around and now I'm installing the software here. Uh, like I said, I ran this, this version of Ubuntu Studio is um, it's designed for people who do video, who do audio, uh, and it comes. Although you can click and tell it not to, uh, you know, put. Uh, those all those files on there, but I just left it click. So there will be a video editor, there'll be a graphic editor, there'll of course be GIMP on there uh, for image editing and all that kind of stuff. But you know, oh God, I'm I pay for Office, uh, I pay for um, Corral uh, video or. I pay for paint. Well, that, that part of a corral is that I pay for paint shop or not paint shop. Uh, anyway, I pay for all that crap, and now here I'm. And so I just like I said, I'm so tired. I really don't think that I did anything stupid. But I probably did. I probably clicked on something. One thing that happened, I don't want to blame uh, Carbonite, you know, the program that a lot of people use to back up everything. Once before I tried Carbonite, and I know it was me, uh, you know, it could take several days to get the stuff backed up. And I'm using my computer, twenty, you know, all the time. So years and years ago, I just said to hell with this because it was running in the background slowing things down a little bit well I decided just a few days ago I guess I am a psychotic or is it psychic I had a feeling that I should uh, back everything up um, and uh, forgot my line of thought. Oh, I was ex explaining to you that. So, uh, well, I did lose my train of thought. So anyway, I just, I paid a couple weeks ago for the upgraded version of one of the three or four uh, video editing programs that I use. And, uh, I think I paid about sixty dollars or something like that to upgrade it, and of course it's Windows only. And of course I write down the the codes and stuff for that, but I've been through that so many times. Uh, when you go to get it, then it's a lot of times it'll say, "Oh, you're using a different computer," uh, and you need to go ahead and purchase it again because so, it's for a different it's just something it just drives me crazy but I really regret it I mean I man I just I'm gonna miss those Windows programs but uh, you know it may be tomorrow I'm back uh, back using Windows I hope not pray for me I'm going to stop this. You don't want to watch this entire process, but it uh, maybe I when I I'm not sure if I'll I'll try to figure it when I turn this thing back on that it's at a at least where you can see the desktop and see uh, a few maybe a few of the programs. Now I. I have my other computer over here is uh, 
that is a chrome box. Uh, this is the chrome box right here. I upgraded it from uh, 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes of memory, which is really more than you you know you need but uh, luckily um, you know luckily I had when my computer over here crashed uh, luckily I had that because uh, let me show you this here and I have <laughs> I have everything, you know, I can click here and I have my, you know, my bank account, my stock account, everything is, you know, there. Now some stuff will not run on that, uh, really run on the Chrome box, but, uh, well, really everything, you know, that I do mostly does run on it because, uh, I'm usually just logging into, but anyway, I'm glad that I had that because, I, you know, I don't know what bills are due. I don't know what I paid. I don't know anything without the internet. And what I just did, I, I did have on one of these whiteboards here, all my bills listed and the dates and then a place for me to check them off on the whiteboard, or the, you know, like on the wall over there. Can you... No, you can't. We're down too low. But and I did. I just uh, put everything a nice Windows. Well, maybe I can log into it because it's a program. It's a, a site you log into, so I can probably log into it. Uh, but it has, uh, you know, all my everything, all my bills, due dates. Uh, has everything on it, so maybe since it's, I think I probably will be able to just log into it because it's. But I'm so glad that I have uh, the Chrome box. I had a uh, Chrome book, and I just don't like laptops, and I especially, I mean, the Chrome book actually is a great if you if you can put up with it. It's a uh, it's a great. I know a great uh, computer, but I just don't like laptops, and I especially don't like. They don't like. They don't have a delete key. You have to hit a couple things for the. You know, using the Chrome. Okay, uh, installation is finished. You can continue testing. No, I want to restart now. Should tell me to take the DVD out here. Should open up. Come on, open up the door and tell me to take it out. Okay, I'm taking it out now. Closing. I've written on it there, so I won't get. I mean, I shouldn't need it again unless. Well, I don't want to think about that. Linux for creative humans. I wish I was a creative human. Okay, press enter because I have removed the installation. Now I formatted the entire uh, one gigabyte. Now what I usually do is I, when I'm installing, I uh, don't have everything hooked up. I have, you know, two webcam USB webcams plugged in. I usually have unplug as much as I can and then plug it in later instead. But this time I left everything plugged in. So there's uh, my. Uh, blue microphone here that's plugged in the uh, let's see the let's see here what else do I have? Oh the uh, sound that tower or whatever it is, speaker tower or whatever I forget what the USB have it plugged in Okay, there's the desktop. I think that's it. Let's see.
time has been, it was we too, I don't know, the, uh, even though I set the correct time zone, my time is off uh, two hours, but it was before I put, uh, let's see, okay, here's our programs, well, the web browser, now of course I can install, you know, I can install Chrome, which I probably will. Uh, well, let's see, let's go to, oops, no, let's type it in up here. Show me blog.com. There we are. And uh, what else should we check out? Let's check out CNN here. Oh, I I'll need to, I can't I need to install LastPass. Uh, I think you agree. Of course, it's working fast, but uh, let's go here to add-ons. Uh, and on more extensions. This is Firefox, by the way. Search, okay. Last, and there it is. Last pass. Add to Firefox. Okay. Install. LastPass has been installed successfully, so here it is over here. Click on that, and then it's going to want me to log in and everything. So I'm going to take off my hat, take off my pants, give me some... Sorry, I'm not sure. What? She, she says I can't take off my pants. Anyway, I'm going to relax, get some coke here, and start installing these things and uh, see if I can keep from putting windows back on. Thank you very much for watching, and don't touch the mouse. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. It's, uh, I know it's the same shirt on, but I just now put it on. I put it on for the other video, and I think, and just put it back on. I, and this is an old shirt. I think I, I want a lottery, or not a lottery. I uh, forget how that worked out. I didn't win any something I think I had a scratch off take it a small amount and then they were they had shirts there that they gave away okay I'm running Windows I installed I spent I had see did I, I yeah I got I was showing you that I had put Linux on there on the computer and then I uh, went and looked at it had a lot of because it was Ubuntu Studio it had a lot of audio visual and all that kind of stuff but I thought no I just I just can't go through with learning and trying out different things so I formatted the hard disk I put windows back on had to do all the you know the upgrades and uh, answering all the questions and then I spent uh, well I guess that was yesterday morning and then I spent all day yesterday trying to find software I haven't found it all but I just <clears throat> found the code so that I got back my uh, screen capture 
program and you know I got the, the code uh, kind of funny uh, as far as downloading the, the program I just recently upgraded it I don't know how long ago but this is November 8th November 3rd of 2017 and I when I went to the site to get the program because I found the code to turn it on I had until I think November 8th to download after that I wouldn't be able to download it well one thing I'm going to do from now on uh, uh, I haven't I did it like once or twice but some of these programs that I buy and I'm tired of buying programs and one thing this time I, I'm going to try not to put on like I paid in the past for at least three video editing programs I'm just going to and had a couple screen two or three screen capture programs that I paid for and this time I'm just going to put on maybe one of each and I'm just gonna <clears throat> that's what I say of course try to keep it clean and thank God I had my chrome box computer over here and a monitor for that so when I was when my computer messed up because of a virus or something I could get onto the internet because I I didn't know how much money was in the bank I didn't know what bills were due without the, a computer so anyway I put Windows back on and I fucking hate Windows <clears throat> I've never ever had any well except for an iPad I worked, when I worked at CompUSA they gave uh, the store I worked at was like number one in the nation. Puerto Rico store was uh, quite often number one. So I'm not sure if our store manager, if he counted us as, I guess we were quite often number one in the continental United States. And uh, I think the reason that the store in Puerto Rico did so well was that there were fewer stores because uh, the store I was working the CompUSA was you know in Miami there was another bigger uh, store because I had to go over there for training one time very close uh, very close to us and because when I went over there for training I thought man I'd like to work over here but when I was over there I didn't see any customers So, uh, did I think I told you that I, I was approved for the uh, Amazon uh, influenza, 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 influential, whatever that is. Here's what it looks like they, because they um, they approved me. They approved me right away when they sent the link. They said you're approved, and it'll be three to five days or something, and your thing would be turned on to so here's what it looks like the one thing I'm not sure about now if you if you come over here by the way I don't think that I can even put <laughs> the link well maybe maybe it is over here maybe I was maybe do they do allow me to put it let's see yeah let's check I think up here at the top uh, the Amazon thing I think if I click there yeah, okay, you can, it takes you there. But, let's see, where do I want to go? But if I, down here, uh, if I try to put a link, let's see. I just got the information. Just If I try to put the link down here, Okay, it let me do that. So where did it not let me? It let me put it there. I'd never seen the, th the thing before, like when I filled out the text and when I put in the... Uh, 
and I clicked, you know, publish, said error, unknown, unknown error. And I kept what, you know, nothing, the only thing I could think of was that. So I removed that line, then the thing worked. Now it was, it was right at the top. So I don't know, but anyway, the one thing I don't know about it, I know, you know, if you, this is like the, it is the affiliate program. By the way, in case you're asking, because there was people who have been discussing that, and there was this one guy who was saying that you had to have 5,000 subscribers, and that nobody that had less than 5,000. I have 2,500 subscribers, and I was approved. So their checking code, I think, looks at other things, and I think it probably one of the things it looks at is, you know, do you have, you know, videos on YouTube, uh, when did you start with YouTube, do you have other, you know, I think it looks at other things other than just how many subscribers you have. But, so anyway, if you, if you click and come here, if you purchase one of these, any item that I have here, I get a small commission. Now with the affiliate program, and this is still, you know, the affiliate program, with that, if if you clicked on a link, one of my links, and you came over and let's say it was a link, say the link was for a uh, $40 pair of headphones that you saw the review and underneath it, I had a link to it. Uh, if you came and you clicked on that, well, then I'd get the $2 commission or something. But if you came over from that link and you came over and you said, eh, maybe you'd buy it, go ahead and buy the hip. And maybe you, well, while I'm here, I think I'll buy the big screen. Nobody ever did it, but uh, the, I think I'll buy that big screen TV or whatever for $2,000. I would get a commission on that. Like I said, it never happened, but I would get the commission on that. I wonder about that if you come over here and you click on something that I have here I'll be adding other stuff later not sure exactly how I'm going to do it because I <clears throat> you can't right now it's not set up where you can have a you know like a menu for photography stuff uh, computer stuff women's lingerie uh, but, uh, but anyway, if you come over and you go to the big screen TV from here, I'm not sure I'd get the commission. I would think they would keep it the same way as... Now, the A-Store, I didn't find that out until just about the time that they just canceled their A-Store. What I found out, I would have then worked with, I mean, I, was, I set the A-Store up, their Amazon A-Store thing, which I really didn't care for it. it was a lot of work and it, it displayed but if if I had known with that when you came over to the A store uh, a what was it, cookie a cookie was set if you went someplace else you know you left you signed off the computer you came back and you and you showed up at Amazon because of the cookie, and I think that lasted for like 30 days. If you purchase something, then we would get credit for it. I don't think this is going to work that way, but I'd like to know, but I'll find out eventually because they have a lot of help files on. Oh, these are the same, that's why it's not changing. There we go. So, anyway, I have Windows back, and I'm glad right now. I was cussing and carrying on about how much I hated Windows. 
but these programs that I've paid for, man, over the year I've paid for so many programs. I've paid for programs and uh, my computer would break or I would buy a new computer for some reason or something and then the programs that, <clears throat> that I'd paid $100 for or 60 or $80 uh, then and I'd paid for this, you know, for software and then I would uh, you know, install the software and then put the key number or whatever when I bought the software and then it would reject it and then I'd have to go to their site and then it would, finally sometimes, I hate, which I hate doing, I most never do is had to go to a helpline, you know, or and well, you're using it on a new, you're only allowed to use it on one computer and you're using on a, a different computer and, uh, and uh, I don't know how many programs in the past, several programs that I purchased. Remember one was uh, before the World Wide Web, I think. Anyway, it was one of the first webcam programs. And uh, I forget the amount. It wasn't a lot of money, I don't think, but okay, purchase, you know, you purchase this, and it's good for, you know, you're good for life. Uh, we'll make, you know, we're making improvements and as we make improvements, you'll, you get it for, you know, no up, no charges or whatever. Uh, less than a year later, they uh, took that part out of the thing and said, no, we never, we never said you'd get something, you know. It, and then some of the places would do, you know, okay, this is pay and this, you know, pay the fee here and this is good. and. Remember the one, I can't remember, that was like, uh, well, uh, that was for, you know, version 4.0, but when we went to 5.0, it, be it became a new, radically new program, and so you have to pay over it just so many times. So, just I'm going to be, be very careful about what I put on here, and not put a whole bunch of one thing good about uh, uh, Google Gmail is like and that helped me with this I could put in the name of the software or something whatever I different works put it in and it does a search through and I have God years and years of Gmail and then it finds it, you know, then I did a search and, well, of course, sometimes because every time they send out a fucking advertisement, uh, that shows up with the search, but then I'd find the, which I did here this morning, found the uh, thing, oh, you can download, here's a place to download, and here is your code to put in. And that's when I, then I went to place to download, and I, if I'd waited uh, five more days or whatever, I wouldn't have been able to download it. It goes there and say, uh, you're entitled to two more downloads. But then, you know, on effective such and such, then you're, you know. So. So I'm back. Um, what else is going on? I had a friend that went to a casino and uh, here in Texas, I guess it was in Oklahoma, I'm not sure if it was in, I'm in Fort Worth, I'm not sure if it was in Oklahoma or if it's, it must be in Oklahoma, which is not very far, I think an hour and a half drive or something. Anyway, he gambled $120 and then he won $2,000. I have not been to a casino, I don't know how long have I been here in, since Miami. When I was in Kansas City, Missouri, I did go to the casino a lot. And one year I kept track of uh, everything that I spent and then of all the money that I won. And I had a good year, but of course I came out, you know, on the... <laughs> On the short end, I came out 
you know, paying a lot, giving them a lot more money than I got back. But then in 2000, I went to Orlando and was there for a year or so. Went to a couple casinos, one where I drove up to Titusville and took a ship that had to go out beyond the, got on the ship, had to wait till everybody got on the ship, then it goes out. When it got beyond seven miles, we could gamble. I lost my money immediately. And uh, so then I just went out on the, watched the ocean and waited till we went back, you know. And then, uh, now I think driving to, on the way down, came to some state border or something and gambled on a, stayed at a motel, my uh, son and I, and then we went to a casino that was there, lost. Anyway, and then when I was in Orlando, went to a casino a few, a couple times. Then came back to Carrollton, Texas, and then went down to oh, someplace Texas. Then back to uh, then to Miami, and I went probably I was there five years I think. I probably went about five times to casinos and I never won anything. And. Uh, So, uh, my son loves to gamble too too much. He, like I said, I spent an enti one entire year. That was a year I worked at a hospital. They, the hospital I'd worked at 10 years. Of course, I worked for the hospital 18 years, but I worked 10 years at which is a hospital that's a few blocks away from where I, where I, a few blocks from where I lived. Then uh, they yanked me out of there, uh, put me down at the main hospital, and I was there a year. Then they sent me to Lee Summit Hospital, and I was there a year. And during that year, because I when I worked midnight shift, I on my days off, I stayed up all night. And then I went to bed in the morning and slept, and so, when I went to work, I was able to function. The other people who had families and or just weren't too smart, actually they were smart people, but you know, they would try to go home and they'd leave their phone on and they'd have to run some errands and do stuff and they'd come into work and just be, you know, dying. So when they sent me to Lee Summit Hospital for that year, I forget what I, I think, Five, I guess it was five days a week. Can't remember. I worked so many different schedules, but on my nights off, I spent just about that entire year going to the casino, and that's a year that I kept track, and I had a lot of fun. And um, you know, came home sometimes with a wad of hundred dollar bills, threw them down on the desk or whatever. But then I'd go back, you know, and uh, oh, that's the thing I was going to say. Uh, well, you can't beat the system. I mean, those casinos are made to take in money. They're not, you know. But uh, my son, when he turned 21, I think, he wanted to go to the casino because he could then legally. And he won, I think, 1200 or $1,500. Bang. His first time gambling. But... He when he goes and he doesn't he hasn't been either in years or whatever, but when he goes, he just puts something. I can't believe I'm sitting there like playing video poker and slot you know video poker and I'm sitting there and I sometimes I'd take a thing where I could see the waitresses at the bar coming to get you know in their short short skirts or whatever. And I'm I'm sitting there just. You know, looking around and saying, he's putting, I can't believe he's putting money in so fast. And he would win. And uh, he put the winnings back in there so fast. The 
Well, there's no way to win, but the thing to do is to to leave. It's you know, you have a winning. I like to th when the I don't know when the coins actually you have coins falling in. I have two buckets and. When I had a winnings from them, where you know, I'd take that bucket, fill it with the coins, put it underneath, and then I'd be gambling with the what you know, and I would leave a lot of times with you know, with money. Uh, one of the things is you know, you gotta you gotta leave, and I've seen a lot of people who just don't you know, don't leave. One of the nice wins, uh. My son was, you know, with me, and he had. I don't know if I'd given him a hundred dollars or. Um, whatever, he may have had his own money. May I think I gave him some more while he was there because he just put he put it in so fast. But anyway, I was at a uh, video poker, and I won five hundred dollars. And it automatically kicked out the coins into the bucket, and then so bucket was filled up. I think I had to use his his bucket, empty bucket or whatever, for the coins. And uh, I said, "Okay, let's go cash this in, and we're you know we'll leave." And he said, "Well, there's still 18 coins on the machine, 18 or less, I think." And he said, "I'll just go ahead and play those." I said, "Okay, I'll come back with the money." And then we'll leave. And I came back, and he had won five hundred dollars. And there was one time I was with my son and my daughter, and uh, I was playing slow, and I just played on a. And he my, he came over a few times, and I gave him more money. And uh, then finally he came over and was broke, and my daughter came over and was broke, and. Uh, I said, well, you know, let's go eat, and they eh, they didn't really want to eat, but I had a few coins left, not very many. And as we're walking over, they said, try it, you know, try the coins. So I sat down, and it's that's scary. It was uh, when you win, then you can you can take your money, or you know, have it added to your thing there, or you can take a chance for. I forget a couple cards draw or maybe four or five cards or something, you know, whatever. But it's a thing like, you know, it doubles or you lose it. And so, okay. And I hit to, you know, try and I got a thing and my money doubled, which wasn't very much and it doubled. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna, and I said, no, no, try it again. So, okay. So, doubled. <laughs> You know, I forget how many times I did it, which the odds are against you. You know, it's like flipping, you know, heads or tails on a coin, and you know, like it comes up heads. How many times is it going to keep coming up heads before you get a tail? Anyway, I doubled enough that uh, okay, well, you know, here's a hundred for you, here's a hundred for you, and okay, I got a hundred left. I said, okay, let's go get something to eat, and they said, no. Let's go, you know. So they go back to the machine. They go back to the machine, and I go to the machine. And then, a short time later, we don't have any money. Okay, let's, you know, let's go, let's leave. But the thing is, to be able to, you're still going to lose. But two up would, uh, on from where I lived when in most Kansas City to get to the casino, you know. I lived in Belton, Missouri, so I had to come down 71 Highway and hit 435, past a big shopping mall, and they had a big sign up, you know, Radio Jack. And, and so I'd be going to gamble, and I'd usually do, when I first started, I'd do like $40, and then I'd leave. Then I started doing like $100. But, uh, so I go to the casino, and you, when you're driving to the casino, Oh, it's wonderful. You just, man, I might hit the fantastic jackpot because they have things like, you know, machines around. I've never been to Las Vegas. I told my son, I said, 
let's go ask him, do you want to go to Kansas City to gamble or do you want to go to Las He says, Las we never been to Las Vegas. I, the reason I said Kansas City is because I did, well, it was fun because you'd win. All these other casinos, I don't win. But he said Las Vegas. So we're going to try like in a year to go to Las, you know, Las Vegas. But uh, anyway, when you're going to the, and I'm sure we're all the same, unless you have a lot of money. If you have a lot of money, you just go to, you know. But if you're, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, on the way to the casino, it's like, oh, wow. Just think. I might have, well, anyway, they have like all kinds of things. Like they have a car surrounded by, and if you win on the, one of, if you win the jig, big jackpot on those, you get the car. Uh, they have a boat, you know, a fancy boat, and these all the machines around there have all types of things like that. I was at the, my son and I were at the casino in Kansas City and heard a woman screaming. I was in the high roller section. Uh, I never lasted long in the special room for where you had to bet more than, you know, a quarter or something. Um, but I was in there and this woman was screaming, a woman started screaming, screaming, and I was doing pretty good, and I told my son, go check and see what's going on. We'll go, you know, he didn't really want to go. I said, go, what's going on? I, I thought maybe that a machine had fallen, you know, on her or something. And he came back, and she, did, she had won a car. I was uh, playing video poker. I like video poker, which is not the best thing. I think you're better with just the... But I, I kind of like to sit slowly and just play uh, video poker. But I was playing quarter video poker. And I was having fun, just, you know, nothing, you win a little, lose a little, but then I was playing video uh, quarter, and uh, the next row over was dollar machines. So there was a guy who was playing video, same thing, same game I was playing, uh, video poker. Well, he got the royal flush, but in order. So he got, you know, I don't know, it didn't matter whether it was left or right, but he got, you know, ace, king, queen, jack, I mean, ten, ace, king, queen, jack, ten. And I forget how many thousands of dollars that was. And that was just, you know, I played dollar machines sometimes. I even did five dollars or something a few times. But oh, anyway, on the way to the casino, you're like, oh man. And then there's times when I was quite a few times where, when I was playing, especially like at midnight there, I would drive over to the casino, doing a hundred dollars, go in. You know, the people, the the guy at the gate or whatever. Hi, you know. Not very many people there at 3 a.m. in the morning or whatever. And I'd go over to a machine, put uh, my uh, my coins in there, lose immediately, and I would. I think I actually passed myself coming in. You know, it was like time travel or something. Rather, I would be the car engine would still be warm. Uh, <laughs> that's how fast the money went. So then, when you drive home from the casino. It's like, oh God, why did I spend all that money? Or if you were there and you won a, a little bit of money, you know, say you went there and you you bet, you know, you took $100 with you and you put in 10 or 20 and you got a jackpot, you know, of 150 or 200 or something. And then of course you feed it back in. But then when you'd be coming, going home, you think, when I won that money, why didn't I just take the 200 and just leave? I would be, I won, you know, six or $700 one time. And um, went home. And then the next day or whatever, I went back to the casino. And like I said, I, I passed a shopping mall when I had to go to the casino and there was a radio shack there went and uh, 
lost all the money that I had won the, like the day before when I put it all back in there and lost some more. And then as I was coming home, you know, uh, and I go by and I look at the Radio Shack sign, and God, I, uh... I couldn't find anything from the Kurt to Radio Shack said kind. What else would you like? Uh, I couldn't find anything from the Kurt to Radio Shack said kind. What else would you like? Echo off. Uh, so then when I was coming back, the loser, I thought, why didn't I take that money that I won and instead of going back there, go into Radio Shack, because it would be something like I wanted, you know. Say I lost, I forget how much it was, say $400, and I, man, you know, for $200 or 250 I've been wanting such and such, and I could have just gone in there and bought it instead of going back and put it in the machines. So, okay, I uh, guess that's it. I'm back with Windows, and unfortunately uh, for you, I have just installed again the screen capture thing so I can do my videos. So, thank you very much for watching.